Hi, my name is Bob Flisser, and I'm the author of Excel 2016 Formulas and Functions in 90 Minutes. I want to show you two functions that will replace existing text with new text. The first is the replace function, and the other is the substitute function. Let's look at the replace function first. And you can see here on the screen, in this instance, what I want to do is I want to replace all of the middle numbers down this column with 111. It'll just make it easier to see. And I can do this by targeting that position. So I'm going to use the replace function, and here's what the syntax looks like. We say equals replace, open up the parenthesis, just like we do for every function. And then we have several arguments. And the arguments are, for, well, the first argument is, what is the old text? What is the starting position that we're looking at? How many characters are we getting to? And then what is the new text that we are going to substitute? So for an example, let's say we've got that first number and those three middle numbers are 491. The starting position is position number five, right? Because that four in the 491 is the fifth character. And the number of characters we want to replace is three. Three are the number of characters to replace. So let's go do that. I'm going to say equals replace, and you notice it's giving me a little bit of uh, syntax help here. I'm going to ignore that for now. So the old text is this. That's in cell A4. Put a comma. The next argument is what is the starting position. So that starting position, as we said before, is 5. So I literally type in a 5, comma. How many characters do I want? Well, like we said before, we want three characters. So I type in a three, comma, and what is the new text? Well, as I said before at the beginning, I want that to be 111. Close the parenthesis, and I'm going to press Control Enter so I can enter and stay on that cell. And I'm going to go over here. I'm going to put my mouse pointer on that little dot in the lower right corner. That's autofill. That's the autofill dot. And I can double click. And that fills in to the bottom, and I can scroll down here, and I can see that in every instance, those three numbers are now replaced by 111. Okay, that's great, but what if you don't want to replace text in all of the part numbers? Maybe you want to replace only a specific sequence. So let's take a look at the next worksheet. So in this worksheet, I have the same numbers, and you notice if you look down through here, some of these have 491 as the middle sequence. Some of them, a few of them, but not all of them. So just those that do, I want to replace with 111, and all the others I just want to leave unchanged. For that, I can use the substitute function. And let's take a look at the syntax. We say equals substitute, open the parenthesis, and then we have a bunch of arguments. The first is, what is the text that we're going to search? The next argument is, what text do we want to replace? Right In this case, uh, in our example, it's the middle three numbers. What is the new text that we want to put in when we find that old text? Right, That's going to be 111. And then optionally, there is an instance number. So let's say that maybe we have a long sequence, and that 491 appears several times. We can say, which of those instances do we want? We're not going to use that here. We're going to keep it simple. So as an example, if we have in cell A4, is that sequence that we saw earlier, then the text to search is cell A4, and the old text that we're looking for is 491. So let's give this a try. So here for the substitute function, I'm going to go up at the top and I'm going to say equals substitute. I'll just hit the tab key to put the rest of that function in. So the text that I want to search is that cell A4, like we said a moment ago, comma. So the old text that I'm looking for is 491, comma. The new text I want to put in is 111, comma. And then do I want to have an instance number? And as I said, I want to keep it simple. I'm not going to put it in. So I'm actually going to remove that comma, close the parenthesis. I press Control Enter so I can enter and stay on the current cell. And then I put my mouse pointer over that autofill dot. So the mouse pointer becomes a crosshair, double click. And now I can see here, where it's 491, that substitutes as 111. I don't have that through down here, but now when I get to this one here, there's another instance of 491, so there's a substitute, and so on 
and here's another one, and here's another one, and all of those others are unchanged. So depending on what your needs are, you can use the replace or substitute function to put new text where old text was and new text should be.